Hey everybody, I want to do a quick video on uh, changing your default boot uh, operating system. If you purchase one of our units, we generally have them defaulted to boot on Ubuntu. But if you want to change that up to whatever other operating system you have, that's what this video is for. Uh, we're going to go to our home button here. And what we're going to be using is called Grub Customizer. If you purchase one of our units, it's already installed. So it's a matter of just writing in the search uh, Grub, which was already there, but uh, you would be doing that right there. Type that. You're going to see this little uh, penguin on a gear or something to that effect. And it is going to require your password, being that this is an administrative task. It's going to bring you up a little menu. This menu that comes up here should be what you're seeing in your, uh, in your boot menu. So in this case, we got Ubuntu is my default, meaning if I don't press anything or change that within uh, 10 seconds, it's going to go right into Ubuntu. And then Windows 7 is my secondary operating system in this case. Your, uh, your text in those fields may be different. You may have some, some other boot options there uh, regardless. So your, your menu might not be as clean as this one. But re whatever the case is, you're going to see a Windows 7 uh, or your operating system. And you, if you see more than one, you can take a look at here the, uh, the partition name. And generally, the lowest partition name is going to be your primary uh, partition. This one's easy. Uh, so basically, we're going to go, in this case, let's just change that and say, oh, I want to boot Windows 7 as my default. Uh, click it, select it, arrow key up. It's going to bump it up. So if we save this, we're going to boot to Windows 7 uh, as the default. So after that, just click Save. And hopefully you don't get an error because sometimes it does get a little funky. So as it is right now, when I boot next time, I'm going to have Windows 7 on top. If I don't press anything, 10 second countdown, it's going to go into Windows 7. Uh, and of course, if I arrow key down, I will go into my, uh, my Ubuntu. So that's a quick video on changing your default or just your boot configuration on your dual boot system. Catch you in the next video.